We are joined by ACMA's President, Mr. Sanjay Kapoor. Sir, thanks for speaking with ET now. Uh, sir, with the current tensions between uh, Russia and Ukraine, uh, can we uh, fear another uh, shortage of chips and semiconductors? And also, uh, are, the, are the rising crude prices going to affect uh, demand of automobiles and components in the long run? Uh, you know, uh, we have seen conflict uh, and we have seen some delay uh, in coming back to where we wanted to be in terms of semiconductors. Uh, with the conflict that's on currently, I can't predict what will happen as I don't know how long the conflict will last. Currently, the neon gas supply comes from Ukraine. Uh, palladium and nickel comes from uh, Russia. Uh, we've seen some slowdown in terms of, uh, you know, what the semiconductors uh, output can be uh, because of this. Currently, what I'm given to believe is that semiconductor industry or the manufacturers have sufficient uh, neon gas uh, with them. Uh, if this were to run out because the conflict lasts longer, I won't be able to predict what uh, the future the, of the semiconductor industry would look like um, at this point in time. Uh, sir, uh, the constraints on raw material and the supply chain considerations, would they be resolved and uh, how would they, of course, be looked at after uh, the PLI scheme for auto components has come in, which, of course, uh, intends to be a shot in the arm for the industry. Uh, but uh, how is the industry looking at uh, raw material constraints or uh, supply chain constraints? So supply chain constraints definitely, you know, are the headwinds that we're facing. Uh, the good thing is, or the positive thing is, we have a lot of demand. Uh, and we're strong on demand, so which is extremely encouraging for the industry. The PLI scheme is extremely encouraging in that it allows companies or encourages companies to invest in the future, in future technologies, uh, not just for export but also for deep localization. So these are great uh, benefits for the industry, and we're grateful to the government for announcing the PLI scheme. 75 companies in the auto component space have been approved, of which 47 companies are ACMA members, and the remainder are joint venture partners with ACMA members. So it's definitely, you know, a step in the right direction. The challenges that we face, uh, you know, the headwinds that we face, and, uh, you know, we're a resilient industry. We're used to, you know, challenges. We'll overcome these challenges. One final question. Uh, what is the growth outlook for the industry? Because as you said uh, during the interaction that we have opened up, we are meeting everyone, and everything is slowly getting back to a semblance of normalcy after two years. Uh, what is the growth outlook in the near future? So we've had a very positive outlook in the, or a positive growth in the first half of the year. We had 65% growth in domestic market, 76% growth in the export market and 25% growth in the aftermarket in the first half of the year. The demand once again is strong, looks strong, now it really depends on the su supply side. Uh, if we're able to meet supply, we'll see good growth. If we're not able to meet supply due to constraints of supply chain, whether they be uh, chip shortage, uh, raw material price increases, uh, container shortage logistics costs we will see some uh, you know we, we will see challenges however the positive thing is that demand is strong thanks for speaking with ET now